This is a Witch Space Quarter Force special update. I'm Commander Burr. As you're probably aware by now Frontier did their first live stream last night showing off the new features coming to the game in quarter 4. If you missed it I'd recommend you go and watch it. It's well worth an hour of your time. What follows now is a very brief overview of what stood out for me as significant. It's by no means an exhaustive listing. This is just the stuff that really got my attention. So without further ado Discoveries are now a communal thing. Once a commander <clears throat> has discovered and sold their cartographic data it will be displayed to all commanders no matter where they are in the galaxy. This information will be in uh, a basic form similar to the information you receive uh, when you do an initial scan when you enter a system currently what's commonly known as the honk. Once quarter 4 kicks off commanders with a discovery scanner fitted to their ships will now have access to uh, the new analysis mode via the full spectrum scanning system. Uh, the initial honk that you do when you enter the system will no longer reveal the entire system but will instead display what I'd describe as echoes on your screen. Uh, almost similar to um, a sonar on a submarine. The scanner also has a, a spectral analyzer style bar at the bottom of the screen that shows um, peaks and troughs for the detected echoes. By tuning the spectrum with the received echoes in the analysis camera you should be able with practice to quickly identify objects within a system and then drill down to look at them in more detail. It's important to state that all this is possible from the drop in point next to the star so you'll no longer have to plough towards a planet for that's 180,000 light seconds away just to confirm that it's a gas giant. Commanders will also be able to use this system to identify signal sources within a system such as conflict zones or uh, unidentified signal sources and those signal sources uh, in particular will now persist when you leave the system because they have a finite lifespan after they spawn. That would allow you to go away, change the ship that you're using or get some different equipment and then come back and deal with them in a manner um, that suits your purposes. Uh, from what I saw the whole system plays in a far more interactive um, way than the current very passive system uh, and honestly really looked like it should be good fun to use and it also carries with it a genuine sense of accomplishment. I'm really excited to get my hands on it. It kind of um, if I had to describe it it kind of looks like it's really really complicated and it feels like you're doing something really complicated but it's actually quite simple to use. That for me really is the sweet spot with simulation stuff. I think they might have nailed it. Uh, as you're probably aware from quarter 4 um, you'll also be able to map the surface of a planetary body using ship launchable probes. Um, you'll need to fire off several probes to map the entire surface of a planet and again Frontier have introduced an element of skill into this mechanic that plays to Elite's str uh, strengths and its grounding in science. During the live stream the team demonstrated slingshotting a probe round to the far side of a planet in order to map the side that was hidden from the player. There are uh, HUD cues that will help with this process but a skilled commander will be able to map an entire planet using a minimal number of probes and there is actually a cash bonus for achieving this particular goal. The team uh, were at pains to point out that the whole new system has been balanced to allow you to earn the same amount of credits that you currently can but at a faster rate and there are bonuses for being the first to completely map a system or discover a stellar body etc. You will now also be able to explore and share data as a wing or in multi crew as well. Actually making exploration a true multiplayer experience for the first time. After years of players asking Frontier has finally given the system map a true orrery view as well allowing commanders to see a true 3D correctly scaled representation of a star system. It's unclear at this point if the orrery is just a nice feature to have or if it will tie back into the game in some sort of gameplay centric way beyond being just informational in quarter 4 or perhaps in a future update. But it was without a shadow of a doubt one of the biggest surprises of the entire stream. The codex which was first spoken about at the Frontier Expo in 2017 was finally shown off and it's nothing short of huge. 
The system tracks your personal journey through the game, logging and recording everything you see and do, even noting when you stop somewhere to make repairs. But it, uh, it also tracks and displays all the lore in the game of which there is a huge, a huge amount most of which is quite hard to find. And it's also able to read out that lore to you in the same way um, that the Galnet newsfeed is currently voiced. The system also has three possible states for certain things within the game. Something can either be rumoured, reported or discovered. Rumoured items can be tracked down and once found reported on changing their status to reported in the codex. If you personally experience whatever the thing happens to be it becomes discovered in your codex. Some of the visual and lighting improvements were also shown off. The new uh, lighting and volumetric fog system was on display with god rays and shadows coming through a ring system. Uh, but the lighting system actually touches every single area of the game including when you're in a station and things like that. Also ironically the lack of lighting has been vastly improved. This for me was one of the most interesting things. On the dark side of a planet it will now be properly truly pitch black. It will be just you and the stars and whatever light you bring with you. To accompany this uh, there is now a new night vision system for your ship. I have to say this was the only thing in the demonstration that didn't really light my candle for want of a better expression no pun intended. It works kind of like a radar sweep emanating from your ship and it highlights the terrain features in front of you. But for a game that is set over 1200 years from now it gave a worse view of your surroundings uh, than a 300 quid unit off of eBay would. Uh, but I might be missing something. We'll see when the beta arrives. Uh, without going into too much detail the cockpit UI uh, has also received a significant look over and has been optimised and improved mostly to help accommodate uh, new information systems like the codex. Um, this all looked very logical and an improvement over what is currently there while in Frontiers words remaining sympathetic to players established muscle memory from the last few years of playing the game. So overall what we saw yesterday was just a small part of what is coming to quarter 4 uh, and aside from the night vision system that I remain to be convinced on it all looks really positive and I'm super excited to see more from the upcoming live streams and to get my hands uh, on the beta on the 30th of October. Uh, as I mentioned at the start of this I've only really touched on most of the things that FDev uh, talked about last night. If you're curious to know more I would heartily recommend you go and watch the stream yourself. It's well worth it uh, and also take a look at the forum post uh, that Frontier made after the live stream that sums up uh, the features um, that they talked about last night. I've linked that in the description below. That's it for me from now. Thanks once again for making it this far. If you enjoy my videos do remember to hit the subscribe button uh, and hit the thumbs up button. That stuff really helps the channel. You can also hit the little bell icon on the bottom right to be notified every time I upload a new video. I'll be back really soon with some more videos. Until then 07 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. I very much look forward to seeing you next time.